Different Strokes ran from 1978 to 86 and still remains one of the most iconic American sitcoms of its time. It had a unique premise of showing a single man raising his biological daughter as well as his two adopted African-American children. It showed the importance of family and indeed had a lot of warmth and kindness. Though, sadly, some of the main cast members have since passed away. Join Facts First to learn how each Different Strokes cast member died and about their fascinating yet troubled lives and careers. Conrad Bain Conrad Bain was a Canadian-American actor who enjoyed a long and successful career in both theater and television. He was born on February 4, 1923, in Lethbridge, Alberta, Canada. Following his service in the Canadian Army after the Second World War, he moved to the U.S. to study acting. His career spanned several decades, but he's perhaps best known for his role as Philip Drummond on Different Strokes. He played the wealthy and compassionate adopted father to Arnold and Willis Jackson and to his own daughter, Kimberly. Different Strokes dealt with important social issues such as racism, drug abuse, and class disparity, and Conrad Bain's character played a pivotal role in addressing these topics with sensitivity and understanding. In some episodes, he addressed the audience before the episode to discuss the theme of the show. In a sense, he became became a father figure to millions of American children. His chemistry with the young actors and his ability to balance humor with heartfelt moments contributed to the show's immense popularity. Before the show, he had already established himself as a versatile actor. He appeared in various shows and theater productions, including the critically acclaimed Broadway play Advice and Consent. His talent and charisma earned him a reputation as a versatile performer. After Different Strokes ended, Bain continued to work in the industry, appearing in guest roles on shows like The Love Boat, Murder, She Wrote, and The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He also lent his voice to animated series like The Simpsons and Captain Planet and the Planeteers. He was so lauded for his role as Philip Drummond, however, he once made a cameo alongside Gary Coleman in an episode of The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. His death, January 14, 2013, at age 89, marked the end of an era. He passed away peacefully in Livermore, California, and left behind a great legacy. Dana Plato Dana Plato was best known for her role as Kimberly Drummond. She was born November 7, 1964, in Maywood, California, and began her acting career at a young age, eventually appearing in over 100 TV commercials. As a child, her parents divorced, and she was raised by her single mother. This breakdown in her family caused a huge effect on her personal life and troubled her until her final days. Dana's breakthrough came when she was cast as Kimberly Drummond, the teenage daughter of Philip on Different Strokes. This would remain the role she was best known for. Her role in the show was both a blessing and a curse for her. Dana's character provided a relatable and grounded presence on the show, and her performances were adored by viewers. She won praise for her portrayal of Kimberly and her chemistry with the rest of the cast, particularly Gary Coleman, who played her on-screen brother Arnold. There were many episodes, most notably The Hitchhiker, which prominently featured the duo. But behind the scenes, Dana Plato faced a series of difficulties. As different strokes came to an end, Plato struggled to find success in her acting career. She was typecast in the role and not taken seriously as an actress, but that was just the start of her troubles. She battled with personal issues, including substance abuse and financial troubles. Her life took a tragic turn and her struggles became public knowledge. In fact, she once robbed a video store and then the clerk called the police to state he was robbed by, quote, the girl from different strokes. On May 8, 1999, Dana Plato's life was cut short when she tragically passed away at age 34. She died from a drug overdose, leaving behind a legacy marred by personal demons. Sadly, the tragedy of her life is often remembered more than her career achievements. While Dana's life was marked by personal struggles, it's important to remember her contributions to the entertainment industry. Her role as Kimberly Drummond endeared her to audiences and showcased her acting abilities. A mention should be made of her other roles, too. She appeared in various TV shows and movies, including Exorcist 2, The Heretic, The Sounds of Silence, and Return to Boggy Creek. She also sought opportunities to reinvent herself and revive her acting career, but sadly, her demons overshadowed her aspirations. She also appeared on shows like The Arsenio Hall Show and Howard Stern Show to discuss her life and career. Her fame from Different Strokes did lead a few B-grade filmmakers to cast her, but acting in B-movies such as Bikini Beach Race didn't revive her career. She even resorted to act in an adult film also titled Different Strokes. The legacy of Dana Plato is a horrific reminder of the highs and lows of fame. Her life ended tragically and she couldn't revive or continue her career after Different Strokes ended. She had one son, 
out of marriage, and her son sadly committed suicide by gunshot at age 25. Her character, Kimberly, had many troubles on the show, but she was always saved at the end of the episode. Unfortunately, such was not the case in real life. Gary Coleman Gary Coleman was born February 8, 1968, in Zion, Illinois. Coleman's journey in the entertainment industry began at a young age, ultimately making him a household name and an iconic figure of 1980s television. His short stature and loud mouth made him perfect for many guest appearances, especially as Gary in a few episodes of Good Times. His breakthrough came in 1978 when he was cast as Arnold Jackson, one of the two brothers adopted by wealthy businessman Philip Drummond on different strokes. As Arnold, Coleman captured the hearts of audiences with his adorable charm, witty one-liners, and impeccable comedic timing. In fact, for many, he was the star of the show. His catchphrase, What you talking about, Willis? remains an iconic part of pop culture. Without a doubt, he was one of the greatest child stars of all time, and this was the reason for his rise and the reason for his downfall. While different strokes brought Coleman fame and recognition, his personal life wasn't without challenges. As an adult, he faced financial difficulties and legal legal issues. He accused his parents of exploiting him and spending his money. He even sued his parents at one point. He also couldn't get out of his Arnold image and struggled to find great roles after the show ended. He had a short-lived marriage to Shannon Price, and within a few months they were already discussing divorce, and they appeared on the TV show Divorce Court. They divorced only after a year. He was also arrested a few times for offenses such as disorderly driving and assault, even spending a night in jail and having fines shoved in his face. As one can expect, these troubles took a toll on his career and personal well-being. Tragically, Gary Coleman's life was cut short when he passed away May 28, 2010, at age 42. He died as a result of a brain hemorrhage after suffering a fall at his home. Despite the personal struggles he faced, Gary's impact on television can't be overstated. Different Strokes remains a significant part of television history, and his portrayal of Arnold Jackson remains one of the best child performances of all time. As we can see, only Conrad Bain lived a long and fruitful life. Both Dana Plato and Gary Coleman had troubled lives and careers. Todd Bridges, who played Willis, also had many troubles throughout his life and struggled to maintain his career following the show. But he has managed to turn around his life for the better. While we laugh at the wonderful episodes of Different Strokes, we must also remember the sadness behind the camera. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you a fan of Different Strokes? Who was your favorite character? What was your favorite episode? Let us know in the comments section below.